Hi guys, welcome to Cruise Campers and here is a quick guide of how to use our van. The camp van has three front seats and can sleep two people. Firstly, we will start with swiveling the front seat area to create extra space. Initially, unclip the plug by pulling the yellow tab outwards. Move the wire so it's out the way in the footwell. Next, loosen and lift up the handles on the base by turning them anti-clockwise. The seat can now swivel clockwise. Now insert the handles back in, turning them clockwise to lock back into place. The table can then be slotted into place, using the lever to tighten it in position. The second knob then secures it further. Lift up the glass lids to reveal the hob and sink. Press down on the gas knob anti-clockwise whilst pressing the ignition to light the hob. Lift up the handle to operate the sink. Any abnormal noises means the water tank needs refilling. The fridge will be on when you collect the van. The temperature switch on the left shouldn't need adjusting. It also boasts a freezing compartment on the top. All the cupboards operate on push button catches with gas struts holding up the top cupboards. The TV is turned on by the switch and can be pulled outwards for viewing. The remote control will be on the bedside shelf and the aerial needs to be placed on the outside of the van. The main lights are operated on a dim switch which can be adjusted as you would like. The battery monitor will tell you how much battery you have left and should always be on a happy face. The top panel is for the diesel heater. Hold the middle button down to turn it on and adjust the temperature with the top and bottom buttons. Hold the middle button down to turn it off. Please note, do not block the outlet. The bed pulls out with the secondary mattress slotting into place to form a full-size double bed. To open up the roof vent, turn the knob anti-clockwise. Please note to close it when driving. Press the switch for the fan. The nighttime blinds simply slot into place on the windows. One is more magnetic than the other and this is for the passenger side window. The other curtain simply draws across separating the front cab. The other switch operates the down lights. There are also USB charging plugs. A power inverter is situated in the cupboard next to the fridge. This is for low power items such as laptops. Objects such as hair dryers will not work with this. The fresh and wastewater tanks are situated beneath the sink. Empty the wastewater tank when you fill up the fresh one. In the boot there is a range of accessories for your trip. For the porta potty, the handle on the left is used for flushing. The front handle was pulled to release the waste into the bottom tank. The top right hole needs to be filled with fresh water only. To empty the toilet, slide the catch at the back whilst lifting the top compartment forward. Once separated, dispose the waste from the outer pipe. Before using the porta potty, please make sure you drop a chemical tab provided into the bottom tank. A washer is also provided. Simply plug into the outlet inside the van Turn it on and it works as a great shower. Thanks for watching and we hope you have a great trip.